Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art. I'm going to show how to make this darling uh, circus tent card today. It is a gatefold card, so when I untie the bow here, it will open up like this to show my circus characters, which are actually from a stamp set by Neat and Tangled, and I'll have that link um, in the information part of the video. So um, let's get started on this cute little circus tent. I'm going to start with a piece of paper that is six and a fourth by uh, 10 inches. And then it needs a couple of score marks. So let's get that. Okay, on the 10 inch side, I'm going to score it at two and a half inches and also at seven and a half inches. Okay. And that is the only two scores that it needs. I'm going to go ahead and fold those into the middle. There we go. And I'm going to make a mark at two and a half inches down. That's about right there. And I'm going to use my paper cutter to make the triangle part of the tent. Okay, so what I'm going to do is line up, well, my um, paper cutter cuts about right here, and um, usually the line is a little bit easier to see, because, but I just changed the cutting pad recently. I can just barely see, but I'm going to line up the line that I made with the point right there, the middle part. So putting the line that I did and the point right on the cutting line. Just a little bit, let's see, about right there. And go ahead and, and cut through both layers. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And I'll show you, you can use your paper cutter for the whole entire thing. Put it at two and a half. Make your little mark. And line up. The mark, let's move that down a little bit, line up the mark with this point. About there, let's see, that looks pretty good. I'm going to cut through both layers. Okay. So now I've got the pointed part of the uh, tent, but when I open it, I still have these weird points up here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. I'm going to line up the card with the bottom at three and three fourths, and I'm going to cut from the top to the score line. And I'll have to stop a little early because it's kind of hard to tell with this exactly where I'm at, so make a couple of cuts there, and then I'll need to trim that off with my scissors. So I'll go ahead and cut along those score lines and get rid of those little triangle on each side. Okay, so now it looks like this. Now I'm ready to make the angled diagonal pieces of the yellow um, for here at the top. And to do that, let's use a yellow piece of the cardstock. I'm going to just um, actually set this kind of on top of the two gate folds and then just turn it over. And very lightly draw around the rooftop as my template. 
And then you can use scissors or your paper cutter to cut that off. And again, if I'm gonna use scissors because it makes it really hard to line that point up. So get that cut off. have the yellow triangle that I need. I'm going to mark the bottom of the triangle. It's about, yes it is five inches. I'm going to mark the inch marks. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. So I have my four little inch marks, and now I am going to use my paper cutter again. If you don't use your paper cutter, what you can do, let me show you real quick, just so you'll know. You can use your ruler, and you're going to line up the mark that you made down here with the point, and draw with your pencil a line, and that will be your cut line, okay? I find it easier to skip that part, and then I also don't have to erase um, anything that I wrote or drew on there. Okay, so I'm going to line up the point and that inch mark that I made. And I can see that I'm going to have to erase those pencil lines. Okay, so there's the first cut. And then I'll line up the second one with the point and make that cut and continue. all of those angled triangles cut. I'm sure they have a, a name, but that has escaped me right at the moment. And I need to clean this one up. It didn't cut quite cleanly off the, there we go. All right, so now back to our tent here. And this is the one for the right. And then I'm going to skip the one that I cut next and slip in the middle one, and then the very last one on the left that was cut. Those are going to go in just like that. Okay, I'm going to erase my marks and glue those on. step is to put on the stripes on the bottom part of the tent and I've cut two one inch by three and three fourths inch pieces and two half inch by uh, three and three fourths inches and I'm just going to go ahead and glue those on. tie a ribbon around to hold it closed and when I get it in place I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the back to hold it where I want it. I probably would have done this before the bow, but I, it doesn't really matter, I don't guess. I'm going to cut these um, so that they fit, and it takes three scallops to um, fit along the top, so I'm just going to use my uh, paper cutter real quick and trim those off. Alright, now that 
is the basic circus tent gatefold card. Um, if you look at the one that's finished here, I added um, this little banner from the stamp set. And I made the flag by painting a toothpick pink with, um, let's see, what is this? This is some plaid craft paint and, hmm. Oh, Valentine pink. There we go. Valentine pink. And then cutting just from one of my um, scrap pieces of paper from cutting the, the angles there um, into a smaller flag with a little flap on the back. And just go ahead and using this Aileen's. to glue it to the toothpick. And then I also use Aileen's to glue it to the circus tent. So just wrapping it around and holding it for just a minute until it's um, dry or set. And then I used my utility scissors to snip off that pointy top and then also to figure out you know, how long it needed to be and to make another snip there. And then just glued it on to the top of the circus tent. Okay, so there we go, this cute, cute circus tent card. I hope you make one of your own. And of course it can be any color, any two colors works. So have fun doing that. And you can always find me at shushupaperart.com.